Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna learn how to create a transparent navigation menu with CSS and HTML that's gonna look like this. Let's go ahead and get started right away. So I've created a new folder and inside this folder I have this nature.jpg file that you just saw. You guys can use any background you want, otherwise you can download this file in the description of this video. I'm gonna create two new files here, index dot html as well as style dot css and then I'm gonna open these two files in the text editor of my choice which is NetBeans okay so now we're ready to create our navigation menu so for the html I'm gonna use the html opening and closing tags right away and then I'm going to include the style sheet right away as well using the link tag with href attribute and I'm going to provide the path where the style is located. Then I'm going to say rel which is another attribute and I'm going to say style sheet because we're including a style sheet. Okay so this navigation bar is going to consist of a bunch of ul and li tags which is which means unordered list and list items so here's what we're going to be creating now. Let's create the first unordered list and this unordered list is going to be our main menu. So when I have stuff like home, about, things to do, contact and let's actually add another one here called news. So this is going to be our main menu. Let's see what this looks like right now by opening it inside the browser. So you can see that this is just a unordered list pure in, uh, in pure HTML right now. So there's not no menu at this point. And we're gonna add the style. We're gonna add the, all the styling inside our style CSS. But, for, but first let's go ahead and add all the sub menu items as well. So home is not gonna have any sub menu items because it's just a home link but the about list item is going to have other sub menus so inside this li tag we want to add another want to add another unordered list so let's go ahead and do that now and let me just okay so for this unordered list i want to have stuff like our team campsites mission and vision so you can just put whatever you want for these doesn't really matter I just want to show you guys that this is inside this li about tag by doing these tabs here okay so you can see that these this li we're still inside the li about so the UL is put inside of this li uh, list item because it's gonna have all the sub elements and if I view this in a browser um, hold on, ah, I'm gonna save it first if I view this in a browser you can see how these list items are in fact underneath about so those are gonna be our sub menu items okay so let's do the same thing for things to do make sure you're inside the li tag I'm just gonna copy all of these here and then I'm gonna replace those with some other menus menu text activity sparks shops fix that one right there shops and events and let's go ahead and add more to contact make sure we're inside the list item copy some of those tags we already created and I'm just gonna have two for for the con contact so map and directions okay let's see what it looks like so far and as you can see, this is our complete navigation bar with sub menus without all the styling. 
So all the HTML content is ready. Now we're gonna write all the CSS for it. Okay, so this is our HTML code. Let's start working on CSS. Okay, so let's apply the background image first because it's just gonna look and make it look pretty right away. I'm using nature.jpg. Let's put a no repeat on it. And for the background size, I'm gonna put cover, which is gonna adjust it to the image screen. And it's gonna cover the whole, uh, it's gonna cover the whole background of our web browser. And for a font family right away, I'm gonna say font family Arial. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, you can see that it added the background image and it changed the font, uh, the font family or font, um, whatever font, it just changed the font. <laughs> okay, next up, let's make sure our unordered list doesn't have any margins or padding by setting it to zero. And also put the list style to none because we don't wanna have any kind of uh, bullets under our list name. So you can see that it removed all those bullets and it removed the tabbing and everything else. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so the unordered list, list item. So these are gonna be the main items that's gonna apply. It's gonna apply the style to all the list items of this UL tag. So under here, we first of all, we wanna make sure that our text flows to the left. So that's gonna align all the text to the left. Watch this, if we view it in a browser, now all the text is aligned to the left. And uh, let's specify all the other elements to format this. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Um, okay, just uh, so we can see what's going on so far, let's go ahead and set the color to white. Okay, so you can see how our menu is styled right now. So these are all of our main menu uh, items at the top, like home about, things to do, contact and news and all the other sub menus are underneath. So that's that's what we did here, uh, float left, we set the width to 200, set the height to 400, uh, 40 pixels, and we set the background to black. Now let's set the opacity to 0.8, and this is what's gonna make our menu navigation menu transparent. So you can see what it did there. It made it transparent. Okay, so what else do we wanna do? Um, let's set some other elements. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the line height to 40 to center the text vertically. And we're also gonna center the text horizontally by, by specifying a line text align center and let's set the font size to a little bit bigger okay so now that we have our main menu styled let's go ahead and uh, apply some of the styles on the on the actual menu link so the menu link is going to be ULLIA Right away, we want to set text decoration to none because we don't want to have any kind of a uh, underline or anything like that on our main menu links. Set the color to white and display it as block. Okay, so the next element is going to be our ULLIA hover. And this one is going to be where when the user hovers the mouse over our menu. So we want to set the color to green. Okay, let's see what happens. So this is what we have so far. We have uh, all of our elements and when we hover the mouse over, it's uh, covering the whole block and uh, all the elements are transparent. So now what we wanna do is we wanna hide the sub menus and we, wanna, we only wanna display them when we hover the mouse over the main menu. And um, in order to do that, we're gonna 
apply the following. Uh, we're just gonna apply display none to that element. So we're gonna say U L L I U L L I and uh, display none. And the reason we're doing this U L L I U L L I is because those submenu elements are inside U L L I U L L I. So this is how the CSS tree structure works. And in order to get to it, this is what we have to type. You have to type U L L I U L L I. And in the HTML, U L L I U L L I. And that's how you get to it. Okay, so we said display none, and now they're gonna be hidden. So now they're hidden, and now all we have to do is make sure that we're showing them when the mouse is over. And again, we're gonna use ULLI and then say hover ULLI display block. So here's what we're doing is we're applying the hover to the list which is previous to that, which is the main menu. And we're, we're uh, targeting the hover, which is the mouse over element. And then we're saying we wanna display the list that is within that main list and say display equals block. So that's exactly what's gonna happen. And now we have our transparent navigation menu and everything is working. If you guys want to uh, apply some margin here, you can easily do so. You can just say margin right equals two pixels. And then it's gonna break the it's gonna break down the menu in uh, these little block elements if you prefer your menu to look like that. Okay, that's how we create our transparent drop-down navigation menu with CSS and HTML. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.